Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make and use a health bar for your project. So in this demonstration here, I have a man, I have a potion, and I have a chest, and with a half-filled health bar. And when I go to the potion, the health bar goes down, and when I overlap with the treasure chest, the health bar goes up, I get more health. Let's look at the code and see how this works started by declaring my health variable which has a value of 50 and the maximum amount of health I can get the max health variable at 100 so I have half my health how is the health variable gonna work we need to display it all the time that means that we're gonna have to come up something in the in the draw function and then we're going to have to have check our collisions with sprites to see if the health goes up and down so let's look at the draw section I have an update health function that runs in the draw function and it passes the health value and the max health value into the update health function. So let's look at the update health function here. Using these two variables, uh, first I'm just drawing the outer black rectangle. So the stroke zero is black, stroke weight is four. If you want it thicker or thinner, you can change that number. Uh, the shape does not have any fill because it's just an, I just want an outline. I'm drawing a rectangle at this x value with divided by two minus 100 and a y of 380 and it's 200 pixels wide uh, by 15 pixels high then i'm making another rectangle to actually fill the outline with how much health you have this will not have an outline so no stroke it's going to be red 255 is the red value and then zero zero is for green and blue values rgb and then on the, my other rectangles can be placed at the same x value with divided by 2 minus 100 and 380 pixels down and now I'm mapping. So what does a map do? Map just rescales a range of numbers. So I'm rescaling my health range into the width of the rectangle, which is 200 wide. So my sprite can have up to 100 health, right? And the maximum width of the rectangle will be 200. So I'm actually doubling the scale of my health values into that rectangle. And I'm the console log health. I'm just printing the health value in the console log just to see what is happening. So how do these max health values change? When we check collisions, in the check collisions, I'm just checking if the player sprite overlaps either the treasure sprite or the potion sprite. And when the player sprite overlaps with the treasure sprite, I'm gonna run the more treasure function. And when my player sprite overlaps with the potion sprite, I'm going to run the more potion function. So if we look below here, the more treasure function plays the sound effect and changes my health by adding 10 to it. And then the update of that shape will be drawn in the update health function. And in the more potion function, the sound effect is playing, I am subtracting 10 from health each time I'm touching the potion. And then that will be updated in the update function. And that's how you can use a health bar. Just draw a rectangle, the size, the maximum size that you want, and then map your health values according to how big that rectangle is.